Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I beg leave to bring in the Freehold Properties Management Charges and Shared Facilities Bill. A couple of years ago, I had a trickle of complaints about the poor upkeep and unfair fees being charged to homeowners on new estates. This has now turned into a torrent and latterly a flood. Constituents of mine living at Hazel Bank, Burton Wood, Durham Gate, Midridge Vale and now Castle Vale and Starkforth Park have all been affected. I am grateful to them for alerting me to what I now discover is a national problem. I also wish to thank Cathy Priestley, who is sitting uh, in the gallery at the moment, who has set up the National Pressure Group Home Owners Rights Network, fondly known as Hornet. She has been campaigning on behalf of homeowners and really understands the problems. The first issue is that the public spaces are not made up to a proper standard. After eight years, one man I met is still living in an unmade road. Promises of green areas, woodland, play facilities and even street lighting are broken. As it happens, County Durham has miles of unadopted roads of terraced housing built by mine owners in the late 19th century. Now we have property developers with the same exploitative disregard for homeowners. We are building the 21st century blight. Secondly, the fees are high, rising, uncapped and unregulated. One constituent told me their fee had risen from £60 to £134 in four years. At this rate, in 16 years' time, it will be £3,316 a year. Another faced a 50% rise in one year. On the Midridge Vale estate, the total payments were £27,000, and this was just for grass cutting. There is a total lack of transparency about the way the fees are made up. Management charges usually exceed upkeep costs, with items such as company admin fees, accountancy, dormant, dormant account, transfers, appearing to be plucked from the air. On one small estate, the actual maintenance costs were less than a fifth of the fees charged. On another, the homeowners found a gardener who would do the work for £400. The agents then promptly added a £400 admin fee. Extra sums are charged for installing television aerials and residents have been tied to E.ON as their electricity provider. All of this looks like just another way for property developers to screw more money out of hard-pressed households. It really is a private new bill tax. Yeah. Yeah. So the news that Persimmon boss Jeff Fairburn received a £75 million bonus was greeted with outrage. Oh, quite right too. The third problem is that when challenged over the fees or upkeep by residents, the management companies adopt an ultra-aggressive stance. Yeah. My constituents have been bullied with threats of High Court action or even the bailiffs. Yeah. This is going on across the country. Yeah. We estimate that 1.3 million households are currently affected. So the response which Hornet have had from the government that people should take this up with developers or that they will legislate at some point in the future to give a right of challenge through the first tier tribunal is wholly inadequate. Individual citizens cannot challenge multi-billion pound corporations. This is because the underlying problem is the legal structure and my bill seeks to change this. The large property developers like Persimmon, Barrett and Taylor Wimpy are scamming people from the start. Purchasers are offered solicitors who are not truly independent and appear to be contracted by the developers, which is surely something the Law Society ought to address. Many people feel they were missold and this is increasingly looking like another PPI scandal. 
People are also worried that the situation will make it very difficult for them to sell their houses in the future, and so they have an asset of uncertain value. The open spaces are initially owned by the property developers who sell them and the right to manage them onto agents. The same names crop up over and over again, Greenbelt and Gr Gateway. Indeed, one Anthony John Dean is the director of 130 such companies. This monopolistic position then gives the managing agents the opportunity to mismanage and overcharge with impunity. Some of my constituents have discovered the land has been put into trusts or covenanted to avoid liability and control its use. The residents are powerless to appoint new agents or influence their behaviour. Unlike leaseholders, who have access to a dedicated ombudsman service, freeholders have no legal recourse in the event of a dispute. Using old law, in particular section 121 of the 1925 Property Act, the agents can place charges on the property if residents are late with payments. It's an incredibly one-sided contract. Homeowners don't have the power to ask for justification of costs, but the management company can legally send in bailiffs or threaten repossession of the home if a resident doesn't pay on time. This is why people are coining the terms fleecehold and fake freehold. Indeed, there is no point in the government legislating to give leaseholders the right to buy their freeholds unless they strengthen the legal position of freeholders. My bill seeks to tackle this problem. To prevent more people from being caught in this trap in the future, developers should be required to make up the public spaces to adoptable standard on a reasonable timescale. But obviously, for existing homeowners, a different approach is needed. This bill will cap and regulate estate maintenance fees to give people the security of knowing prices cannot increase indefinitely. Secondly, the bill will introduce measures to ensure shared facilities are maintained to an adequate standard to end the money-for-nothing culture of property companies. <laughs> Finally, it will make provision for the transfer to genuine self-management to end the stranglehold of managing agents. The overwhelmingly positive response I have had from colleagues across the chamber demonstrates that this is a national problem. Currently, we estimate 1.3 million householders are affected. <laughs> Given the government's ambitions for house building, many more soon will be. We need to grip this problem and act fast. Hey. Hey.